name is Kirk McCormack and I'm very happy to join you here today at this end of year show to present a new publication produced by architectural technology students in the Dublin School of Architecture. Its name is Empirical and it focuses on in-depth architectural research that would be of great interest to both industry, stakeholders and also students. I'm happy to tell you a little bit more about it right now. Over the last 10 years, students of the Bachelor of Science in Architectural Technology at the Dublin School of Architecture have engaged in an intensive research assignment in their final year. The project provides an opportunity for detailed analysis of current and emerging issues that arise in the life cycle of buildings. More than 275 of these studies have been carried out within that period, with topics ranging from energy efficiency, retrofitting and building pathology, to material science, procurement and even novel building products. Students are free to choose their own research question, with over 80% of them selecting topics that have been concerned with environmental sustainability. The research is always specific, evidence-based and useful for real-world application. Even though produced by undergraduates, it is seen as a genuine contribution to critical thinking within architecture. This is not always the case with student research. However, visiting critics and industry guests who view their work each year have encouraged us to share it more widely. This publication and the one that follows are the first of what will become annual showcases of their efforts. In the studies, you will notice that there's an emphasis on cycling through a sequence of desktop study and simulation, control conditions testing, field testing under real conditions and increasingly full-scale prototyping of building elements and scenarios. Students are also required to adhere to robust research design principles by incorporating randomised controls and reproductibility. This commitment to the scientific method comes not only from a typical expectation for educational institutions to engage in academic discourse, but also because there is an acknowledged lack of research within the built environment more broadly. Within architectural technology particularly, the origin of certain tried and tested techniques for arranging materials and components is largely unknown. For example, how do we know that it is better for a windowsill to overhang a facade, and by what dimension? Do insulating blocks need to be waterproof below ground level? Or do we really know how timber facades will change in appearance over time? You will have difficulty finding the primary source or documented experiment that verifies such rules of thumb. There are numerous other examples of these these gaps in our basic body, body of knowledge. Along with the more speculative research questions regularly pursued in the project, we view these more grounded inquiries as providing three opportunities which are significant for our students. One, to contribute to architectural discourse and research in a simple but meaningful way through the verification and validation of existing assumptions. Two, to unlock potential innovation by exploring the boundaries of these existing assumptions. And three, by operating as a rudimentary think tank for the wider architecture and construction community to identify and explore such gaps in knowledge. We welcome and hugely encourage industry professionals, companies and organisations to contact our programme now with research areas and questions of interest that we can pursue on your behalf. The publication is divided into research topic sections. Each section contains a range of abstracts which frame the research as simple questions. A concise commentary is provided on each study undertaken and its findings, the specific testing methods used and key references. Information on how to obtain full copies of the research and supporting data is also provided. During the 2019-2020 and 2020-21 academic years, students have used a wide range of testing approaches including calibrated and guarded hotboxes to measure heat and moisture transfer through novel materials, credit card sized Raspberry Pi computers to place sensors within buildings, and even coding to create automated design checking systems, all done by students. This has once again yielded an interesting balance of drawing, making, and synthesis through writing. This continuing commitment to empirical research gives the publication its name. For those of you from industry and practice who would like to obtain a copy, you can purchase it at empiricaljournal.info where we've created a web store where you can arrange payment and postage. 
If you would like to follow us on social media, we have an Instagram account which posts on a regular basis content from the publication and disseminates the research more widely. Furthermore, if you are a student and wish to obtain a restricted student copy via PDF, please email me at kirk.mccormick at tu Dublin. Thank you. <laughs>